Hi everybody, this is Randy Brown for Vlogging with Mr. Brown, and I have an NLP quick tip. Uh, this is known as the agreement frame, and agreement frames are an excellent way to getting to getting your point across without, you know, contradicting someone or telling someone you're wrong. The first part of the agreement frame goes like this. I agree, and. I appreciate that, and. I respect that, and. Uh, I agree that you think that and. And the reason that each of these ends with ands is this. Whenever you say but, you're negating whatever came before that. Like if I were to say, you know, that's a really good idea, but we tried it before and it didn't work. Well, when I put the but in there, I completely negate, well, that was a good idea. You know, essentially you're saying it wasn't a good idea. You know, you always want to try to avoid but in your argument. One of my friends, you know, we were talking about uh, Marvel superheroes, was that there were no spider-themed heroines. But you know what? If you want to be good with people, you don't tell them outright they're wrong. If you want to build rapport with people, you don't start arguments. So I decided to use an agreement frame. And instead of saying, no, you're wrong, I said, I agree. And except for Black Widow and Spider-Woman, you're completely correct. And I got my point across very simply and very easily. Now let's say something like, uh, I think American cars are better than all the other cars out there. You know, and even if you didn't agree with it, you can find what's known as 10% agreement. And 10% agreement could be, you know, whatever person's argument is, you can agree with it a little bit and still not compromise your values. So if I said, I think American cars are the best cars out there, you could say, yeah, I agree. American cars are some of the best cars out there. And, you know, uh, my Kia Soul is nice too. So there you go. That's called an agreement frame. So again, the first part of the agreement frame is... I agree and, I respect your opinion and, uh, I agree that you think that and, I appreciate that and, and then the second part is always use and, don't use but. And then the next part is present your argument. So if somebody says, oh, you know, I think these videos you're doing are really stupid, Randy, I could be like, I agree that you think that, and there are a lot of people who do like my videos. Or someone could say, I don't like black coffee, it tastes gross. You could be like, I agree that you think it tastes gross, and there are several other different types of coffee that you could try that do taste good black. So you see how it goes? That's basically uh, the agreement for in a nutshell. So again, one more time. I agree and, I appreciate that and, I respect your opinion and, I agree that you think that and, and then the and, and then your argument. And that is basically the agreement frame in a nutshell. I am Randy Brown and this has been Vlogging with Mr. Brown. Thank you and good night.